Hello everyone. This is our second discussion. This week we are discussing the differences between liberty and freedom in early Western, Western civilization. The distinguishment between liberty and freedom have both been defined in early American writings. They have also been confused with one another and the real differences were not completely understood. When we look at the complete different definition of freedom, it is explained as the right to act, think, and speak as one chooses without the chance of hindrance or resistance, whereas liberty is defined as being free within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's way of life, behavior, or political views. When we look at our readings from this course, we see where Aristotle expresses in his concept of freedom during early Western civilization. He expresses that there is a distinction between the political status of slavery and the natural slavish conditions, which alone can make this political status legitimate. Aristotle discusses the difference between the man who is naturally suited for slavery in the man naturally suited for freedom. This gives us basis upon which we may build a definition of freedom as a condition of soul rather than a conventional granted civil status. So from Aristotle's viewpoint, not everyone is entitled to freedom, but, but must be born to it. The common meaning of freedom in society is more so the actual meaning of liberty Liberty is the actual freedom and choice that we have in our nation today, as it holds the central theme for our nation's constitution and primarily the First Amendment. Our nation's constitution gives us the right and freedom as citizens. All part of the constitution focus on the na nation's right and freedoms as a new country at the time. From our readings of Caroline Robbins, 18th century Commonwealth men, she references on page 124 letters from Cato that discuss liberty. I found these to be very insightful, for Cato explains in one of his letters that reads, quote, All men are born free. Liberty is a gift which they receive from God himself, nor can they alienate by alienate by con consent through possibly, though possibly they may forfeit it by crimes. It also reads, quote, liberty naturally draws new people to it, as well as increases the old stock and men as naturally run when they dare from slavery and wretchedness, whether soever they can help themselves. Hence, great cities losing their liberty become deserts, and little towns by liberty grow great cities. Freedom, on the other hand, is our ability to speak and act freely as we please as a people of the nation or any free nation of the West. Liberty, on the other hand, are the rights of principles in which we are given as the free people. The Founding Fathers knew freedom was a reachable concept after having lived under the tyranny of Britain for many decades. Even though they knew it would be a new concept and is would be considered treason, they fought and died for it. They had a strong belief for it and wanted to be able to live in a free country. They wanted to be able to have the freedoms of liberties that they were not able to have before. Thank you for listening.